Hi, my name is Zach Thomas. I'm a uh, Wheat Elementary School graduate, um, Wheat High School, um, COS alumni, um, a member of the 2006 championship team for the Eagles, um, and section champion of Wheat High School. Went to uh, Wheat High School for four years. Um, during my time at Wheat High School, um, I was able to excel um, not only as in, uh, in my academics, but as well as athletics. Um, I was a member of the 2001 section championship team. Um, we followed that up my junior year playing at home against Biggs. We lost 21 to 14. Um, it was a very great run. Um, I put the team on my back my senior year and made it one game shy of three straight. Um, for our little high school here. So I'm very proud to be from Weed. Um, I wasn't highly recruited coming out of high school. Um, I chose to stay here at College of the Siskiyous and continue and further my education in my athletics. I uh, wasn't highly recruited um, coming out of Weed High School. So I chose to um, stay home, stay close. Um, we have a beautiful place right here in our backyard of College of the Siskiyous um, where I was able to um, really dive into my academics um, and kind of um, figure out what it, what, it, what it was I wanted to do during that time. Um, had a great football um, career at College of Siskiyous. 2006, um, we won the conference. Um, I played in a bowl game down at De Anza High School against Diablo Valley. Um, we came up short. Um, but I remember that moment of um, when I graduated from high school and not knowing that I was going to play ball ever again. Um, being a high school football player, playing your senior year, um, it's big, um, a big moment. And a lot of people don't get to experience of playing two more years, let alone another two years. So um, I pushed myself academically um, and in the gym, I was able to sign a scholarship. I had one. Um, big time offer um, from University of San Diego. Jim Harbaugh was the coach then who currently, or who eventually went to Stanford um, where he went, for, went from Stanford to the 49ers. Um, so I had uh, University of San Diego, or San Diego, Concordia, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Humboldt State, SLU, um, just to name a few um, schools. Um, Occidental College down in LA was another um, good school. Um, COS and Weed has they Weed High School Elementary has been very good to me. Um, I graduated and came back and was actually a coach um, for COS, which kind of brought everything full circle for me. Okay, what is your best memory being at College of the Siskiyous, both in the classroom and out on the football field? In the classroom, um, it was uh, I, as soon as I graduated from Weed High School, I went on my senior trip, and as soon as I got back, I. And I enrolled um, that week after I got back to um, try and put myself um, academically um, a little bit ahead. Um, standards wise, I was a little bit um, not where I wanted to be um, coming from a smaller high school. So um, traditionally it takes us, you know, three years, um, have to take some prerequisites. So I wanted to tackle my prerequisites early so that I could try and get out of here in, in two years. Um, Football wise or sports wise, I think it would have to be um, being a kid and hanging out on the sidelines and sneaking into practice and kind of watching the guys over the years and then to finally um, be one of those guys and um, go from being a student of the game to a teacher. Um, and being a coach at my alma mater, um, being so knowledgeable of the program, um, having great people in my corner, like um, I give a lot of credit to uh, Coach Roberts, who believed in me, um, Coach Moss, who really believed in me. He gave me a shot on special teams, and kind of that was that was my that was what got me to. Like I can do this, like, you know, I'm, I'm from a small town, but I can compete with these guys. And having those local influences really um, hindered and helped me um, stay focused on my journey. Um, and then to be able to have my, my children on the sidelines with me coaching and hanging out in the locker room at COS and also at Weed High School has been 
probably a huge moment that I'll never forget. After COS, I decided to um, sign a scholarship to continue my academics as well as um, my sporting career. Um, I chose to take the lesser um, route and I wanted to play now and not wait and I wanted to get my education done. So um, I chose to go um, to an NAIA school um, um, on a D, it's a D2, D3 school academic um, scholarship. So I thought that was um, very awesome that I was able to um, not just use my athleticism to get me in a, the right direction, but to also use my academics. Without my academics, um, I wouldn't have been in that position. Um, I pursued forensic psychology um, as my major. Um, during that time, it really wasn't a mainstream career. Um, so I had to create a lot of my own educational path, which was kind of cool because I was kind of blazing my own um, pathway. And now 20 years later, it's a widely known um, career and curriculum um, throughout the nation. And, um, so I did my two years down there. Um, I excelled in football. I had two really great um, football coaches, Chris Dishman, who played in the NFL, as well as Eric Wright, who played in the NFL. And Fred Judici was my special teams coach who uh, coached under Bill Walsh for the 49ers. Um, so I had a very rich um, experience um, coming from, from COS in pursuing my um, football and academic career um, in Minla College. Yeah. So graduated school, um, came home, <clears throat> kind of still wanted to play, um, just still had that fire burning in me to still be um, out there on the field playing. Um, it took me some time. Um, I was offered a chance to coach at COS early on when I got back when I was 25, but it was just too close of me. Um, just getting done with ball and still wanting to play. I was looking for different avenues for myself to still be involved in the game. And I should have started coaching, but I decided to um, kind of experience life a little bit. Um, I became a construction worker. Um, I went back to the mill, I did the fire academy. Um, I really enjoyed the fire academy and as soon as I graduated, I had my first child. So my first career or my second career choice that I wanted to do was I wanted to become a fireman because of the camaraderie, the teamwork, doing something that's um, a common goal, bigger than yourself. Um, and once I started having a family, um, my, my interest shifted, I didn't want to be the the one running into the burning buildings because I had some, some you know, have family that's, you know, hoping that I'm praying that I come home um, after, after that. So um, I continued to stay around the game. I started coaching Little League, Pop Warner um, for, the, for the nights um, while I was in the fire academy. And that's kind of what got me into coaching um, was having that exposure um, and then from there, I just continue to try and help out the youth, give back. And finally, um, I went back to the high school and um, I've been there for the last five years. Um, I've coached one year at College of the Siskiyous. I actually played two years of semi-pro um, football up in Oregon, which was, um, let's see, I'm 37, so about seven years ago. Um, and that was awesome because I, I, I got to, fulfill that last page of my sporting career. Um, I always told myself that I would play as long as society said that I could. So um, I hadn't played in five or six years and just started working out every day. I missed I missed the journey. I missed, it's, it's not so much the winning, the championships. I missed the preparation, the hunger, um, putting yourself through rigorous training and then achieving your goal, like getting the win, like that's the ultimate goal. But during that time where no one's looking is what I miss the most is putting in that hard work um, that doesn't get seen um, in the classroom or on the athletic playing field. Being able to come back to where it all started um, for myself has been such a blessing. Um, I currently work at Weed Elementary School as a wellness coach. Um, I'm able to um, be that light for kids that I didn't have um, 
growing up, um, I have great supporters and mentors, but um, just having someone at the school that I could connect to or relate to that um, maybe on the outside doesn't look like we share a lot in common, but being able to talk to the kids and show them that, you know, we, we may be different, but we all have similar you know, similar backgrounds or, or struggle with things. So I'm able to mentor kids and um, kind of help them when they're down. Um, but through this job, I'm also able to um, create fun things for the kids to do. Um, I have this outdoor club thing that I have going. I've exposed the kids to um, possibly, you know, climbing Mount Shasta as a bucket list thing. Dan Brankley is a really awesome guy from Sisters Oregon. Um, we plan on um, climbing Mount Shasta together in the spring. Um, another thing I do here is um, I teach social emotional wellness classes to the kids. Um, I just try and be there for them. Um, it's it's hard in this generation um, being a, a kid and um, just just being there for them. Sometimes I spend. Um, you know, some time outside shooting baskets with them, swinging, playing tetherball, um, just trying to be there um, for them, be their light, be their carrot. Um, and the one thing that also is awesome about this job is that not only did I, I work here, I went to school here, but I also coach football at Weed, at Weed High School, um, where I had a stellar um, athletic career and starting to brew a awesome coaching career there. Um, five years ago when I first started, um, we barely had um, numbers to even have a team. And so to, to be able to weather this storm and um, put together two really, really great years. Um, the last time we made playoffs was <clears throat> One of the last times I, I took a, a, my helmet off at Weed High School. So I was offensive MVP um, my senior year. Um, was the 19 years ago was the last time they made playoffs. So to be able to come back where it all started um, and um, coach the, the Cougars to the first playoffs in 19 years and then followed up this year with an 8 and 2 record, um, one game shy of um, being back in the section title. Um, thing so um, I'm just super blessed and very thankful that um, I come from an awesome an awesome community that accepts me um, and you know said why don't you come back and coach football and, and, and see what happens so I'm, I'm hoping that we can keep rebuilding the program um, I love what I do here at the school um, I try and create the model of the, the kindergarten looks up to the primary kids, the primary kids look up to the middle school kids, the middle school kids look up to the high school kids. And our community is starting to have that. We're, we're a big football town, so we're starting to get that um, community support again. Um, the stands are, are packed and um, we're starting to make some noise here again. So I'd say legendary. Don't sell yourself short, reach for the stars. Um, take that scholarship to, you know, Vermont or Wisconsin or Florida. Um, don't be afraid to reach for the stars and fly a little bit and um, put yourself in some uncomfortable moments. Um, part of one thing I've learned the most, a part of maturing as an adult, is um, you have to get used to being uncomfortable. You have to get used to it in order for you to keep advancing in your life you, you you just have to get used to to being uncomfortable and, and pushing yourself